Hello everyone, it's Jessica Michaels here with another cherry on top hop. This is the April hop and our theme this month is for spring. So I have chosen a fun spring photo from last year of myself and my baby girl during Easter and um, she just looks so cute in her coat and I thought this paper was just perfect because it matches her coat color. So I've actually chosen this paper and I've cut it all apart and then I'm going to distress the edges of all of this so I'm basically cutting apart just to put it back together but I just I looked at this paper and I thought those edges were just screaming to be distressed and kind of stitched or sewn on so that's what I'm going to do with it um, I've got all these pieces cut apart at this point I've distressed a couple of them and put them back on I'm just putting them back on a piece of smooth white cardstock from my stash here and then just using my edge distressor to make all these edges kind of um, torn up and if you don't have an edge distressor, you can also use the edge of your scissors as well. So with it being the spring theme, I'm actually going with the Jen Hadfield Flower Child collection today. I had purchased this last month to use for this hop specifically and at all my April projects. Um, I have a lot of pictures to scrap of my baby girl and I thought this collection was just so pretty and it was perfect to document this memory and a whole bunch of others that I have planned too. So I love all the papers in the 12 by 12 paper pad so I got that and then I got a whole bunch of the embellishments that come in the collection as well well so I've got lots of goodies to play with and I'm just sticking down my last piece here to kind of seal in that whole paper and get all that back on there I've got a acrylic title piece in my from my stash here that I'm going to use today and I'm just going to work on matting my photo here so I'm starting with some smooth white cardstock to mat first I put the dates on the backs of all my photos. That's how I keep them in date order in my scrapbook so I know exactly what I need to scrap. So when I print my photos from home, um, which I use my Canon, Pixma, I think it's an IP8720 if I remember right, printer. Um, I print them all at home myself and I put the dates on the backs of them whenever I print them so that I can keep them chronologically in my scrapbooks. So I've got this photo printed. It's a three and a half by five inch photo. I'm just using some of the various papers from the 12 by 12 paper pad to map my photo with. And I'm just not making them super perfect, not worrying about how perfect they are. I'm just adding some layers behind my photo. And I also added a layer of tissue paper as well. So um, I try not to use my ATG gun or a tape runner whenever I use tissue paper because it just kind of rips it up. So usually I use the Nuvo glue but I actually did use my ATG gun on this one and it did rip it up a little bit but it worked out and it was fine so here I'm just tearing some of these edges I'm not too particular whether they are perfect or straight or anything I want them to kind of be all jaggy and wonky so I'm just kind of variating whether I use scissors or I tear the edges or what I'm doing with them just to give them some more dimension and I'm just adding lots of layers on this one. Um, this one I'm cutting with scissors. I love that straight print from the paper pad, that rainbow print there. I was kind of thinking I might cut some of those rainbows out and use them, but I ended up not cutting them out and just, I didn't use them on this one, but maybe I'll do that on a future layout. I really love these little cassette tapes. So I'm gonna use one of those on my layouts and it has this fun little strip on it that you can add your date stamp or journaling on. So I am going to add um, Easter, I think I wrote Easter memories if I remember right. And then I'm going to add my date stamp on probably on the top of my photo here. So I've got my little cassette tape cut out. I'm just going to pull out these flowers and all these little cute die cuts and just kind of scatter them about my layout. And I'm gonna use some gold thread to put behind some of the flowers. And then I'm just going to add um, just a bunch of these flowers, these little cute little die cuts and some of the puffy ones. I'm gonna add some with glue dots. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some sequins from my stash and add a whole bunch of those. So let me pop some music in here. Um, but before I go, um, of course I'll pop back in at the end and show you the finished layout, but um, make sure you check the description box and I am going to list all of the people playing along today in this hop. So make sure you leave a comment along the way from everyone's videos and you will be entered in a drawing for a $25 a cherry on top gift card. So I'm going to put some music in here while I finish embellishing this and if you have any questions for me, be sure to leave a comment and let me know.
Here is the finished layout. I just love how this one came together. It was super easy and quick and fun, and I've got a nice spring filled layout. So make sure you hop along with the others playing along today. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye.